Hello everyone, I am Renowned Zero, and we are back again with another video talking about the Riververse Tractors over on the Riververse Goalpost Twitter account. We're going to start today with Josh Friedman, but before we get started, just want to show as of recording of this video that the ISOM2 campaign is currently sitting at $1.097 million, close to $1.1 million, with 6,132 copies of cover A sold, 6,661 copies of cover B sold, which is the cover drawn by Ethan Van Skyver and colored by Kyle Ritter, and 2,457 cover C's are sold that was drawn by Shane Davis. It's also embossed and foiled, so only 5,000 limited, so you get it while you can. We also managed to get a shout out from the Frogman himself on my last video talking about the Air July detractors, so that's freaking awesome. But now we're going to get started in here where Josh Freedmaster, which is one of Ripper's oldest, I'd say oldest detractors, that's not James Castle or, or not Dane, who says either Ripperverse Goalpost is Eric, an employee slash paid snitch, or the biggest effing D sucker show on earth. No, Eric doesn't have time to be on a sock account. He's busy interacting with fans on his main account, or he's or he's at the warehouse packing up orders for fulfillment. Nice to see Eric's alt slash pet is giving me attention, even though I have a small account and don't make money for what I do. Well, if you're going to say some nonsense about Eric and make up a bunch of lies, you're going to get called out for it and shown on this account. We of course have the scam website, one of the scam websites selling the Riververse comics shirt, which if you're looking to get merch like this, you go to Riververse.com to find it. Blaze TV pointing out that Blaze TV contributor Eric July clears nearly $1 million in pre-orders inside 24 hours for his latest graphic novel, proving once again readers want good stories, not by bad ideology, from their comics. And we've got Dot Excutables, the guy, you know, that debated Eric July, got absolutely destroyed, talking about he's his little transhumanism for all the Eric July fans that remember this guy. He's suddenly back. The more I consider everything, the more I feel bad for Eric July. Don't know why you would feel bad for Eric July, considering he's making loads of money and you're not. Your friends don't care about your comic. They absolutely do. That's why they're pushing it. They actually do care about their, his comic, and they buy it. They care if you fit in with their agenda. No. Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers and Eric July on like two different political aisles here. Eric is being used and it hurts me inside because I see potential in Eric just like I do with Chris Chan. Well, if you're comparing Eric July, a guy who has a successful comic business, to a piece of garbage like Chris Chan, you're just you're just absolutely idiotic and you have room temperature IQ. So. Next one is Dr. Your Mom 420 who says, I genuinely don't understand how he's at 900k. These numbers have to be fluffed by a backer. No, they're fluffed by paying customers who want to see what is next in the ISOM story. We actually have another one from Josh Ridemaster who says, Who the F would pay 5000 for a goddamn comic book that isn't in original print? This is an effing scam and the people who bought it have no right to call them call anyone consumers. Well, if you know anything about this, there were only 10 given out. There were only 10 opportunities to be canonized in the Riververse. This actually gave you one of everything on the first campaign and allowed you to be put into the Riververse. That's exactly what this tier was. And it was only sold to 10 people. So, anyway. Joe Winner says, Probably Eric's employers at Blaze TV bought them all for propaganda purposes. It's a common place for a right, far-right tactic, usually seen anytime a Republican politician releases a book and thousands of copies are just bought in bulk by their rich friends to get them on the charts. Yeah, I definitely didn't buy ISOM 2 covers A, B, and C on the very first day. I definitely wasn't one of the people who bought that, right? Definitely not. That couldn't possibly happen. Such a weird thing to say, but as you all know, I decided to check on Dick Masterson just to see if he's still coping and seething, which found out that he is. He's still managing to talk about Eric July's ISOM 2 still to this day, or ISOM 1 still to this day. 
where someone said to him, it went that the site went down to over-trafficking. Ever heard the phrase, a good problem to have? Is there anything you guys won't rationalize? I mean, you rationalize the fact that you think the story is bad, which is just an opinion that you're allowed to have, by the way. But it seems like the vast majority of people who have read ISO number one did like the story. And obviously, as Eric July has said, there have been repeat customers that he notices. So... We have this. Now crowdsourcing story ideas for the first issue of my new comic book about a controversial YouTuber always getting himself into sticky situations online and IRL. First draft equals final draft. No edits, no artists. Printed, stable, and shipped from my abandoned leather warehouse. The Vetoverse. So essentially trying to take shots at Air July. Of course, the room temperature IQ brainlit known as Dick Masterson is going to retweet that because he's about as intelligent as any of the people he retweets. Like that guy. That are like that guy. Oof to this, which I already read. Now taking pre-orders for signed full embossed one of one variant covers. Only $100 with free worldwide shipping. Order in the next week and receive a graded copy at no extra cost. I love you guys and I'll be your dad if you'd like. It's so weird that these people are they are trying very hard to make fun of Air July's campaign and the, the items he offers. And it just, just looks stupid. Like, it's just very, very ignorant of these people would be doing this. It, it all it all just oozes jealousy. Just oozes jealousy. Right? He re he retweeted. This guy retweeted. He retweeted. The show of the calling with with Boulderman and the, this other guy about the ice on number one review. He retweeted this post. He retweeted the post. It's true. The ripoff versus Dweebos called my boxing gym and said I was, in, I was a bad person to try and get me banned. Where's the proof? Where's the calls? Where's the police report? Where's any of that? Right? And I can guarantee you it wasn't anybody that's a fan of Eric July. So, again, where is the proof of this? I hope you're some cockbox. And the woke is one Q-tip at a time. Guy's a loser. First customer of the day. Thank you. Your political enemies are going to feel so bad in a few minutes when they hear you blasting my new track. Please let everyone know what you think of the song unless you don't like it. Vetoverse. These people are mentally ill. The story is dog crap, though. I some prove that some readers want their own ideology more than anything, which is fine. Again, your opinion. You're allowed to have it, but most people... Say at least 95% of people who read Isom number one enjoyed the story and are looking for more. Kind of hard since the book doesn't have an ideology. Guy goes back to city, gets pummeled, gets pissed, opens can of whoop ass. The end. There's no woke or anti woke stuff in it. The story of Isom isn't in the comic. Yes, it is. It's in the marketing. No, it's not. That's where you find the villains and heroes and even a catchphrase. We will win. That's a catchphrase that Eric uses to say that. We will win as in we will do better and we will win over the customer and the respect of the customer and we will continue to respect the customer over what the mainstream does. There's none of that storytelling in the actual comic. Might as well be blank pages and plastic boxes. Once again, your opinion that no one really cares about because again, with as many followers as you have on Twitter, which I believe is somewhere between 26 and 27K, you can't even muster up 100 likes on any of your tweets. As of recent. But here you are, still continuing to constantly cope over Ripper's success, over Eric July's success. You are still coping and seething as we go along. And the only thing this is doing is making more people see how absolutely stupid you are. And you're just pushing more people to buy Eric's comic over Garbage Vito's comic. Or even your own book. So you can go ahead, continue to cope and seethe, continue to be mad, and all you're going to do is continue to look like a damn fool. Thank you all for checking out this video. I really do appreciate all the new subscribers, returning subscribers, new viewers, and returning viewers. If you do like this video, hit that like button. Comment below what you feel about all this. Subscribe for more content. Do not interact with anybody I showed in this video. Leave all your comments in the comment section down below. Subscribe for more content. Hit the bell for notifications. Set the bell to all. That way you get notifications anytime I post a new video. And I will see you all on the next one. Peace.